Sex symbol Michelle unleashes nasty attack on men and shocks crowd with what she lets slip out. It's estimated that the average person sees themselves about 20% more beautiful than we actually are, and while that's disheartening, it might be an underestimation for some. There's no escaping the fact that some people just think very well of themselves. Our former first lady was one of those people. Not only does she seem to consider herself to be a standard for beauty, she's also acting as an oracle for wisdom these days as well. Apparently, Mrs. Obama is still looking to be in the spotlight after leaving the White House, because she has made a number of public speeches and attended a whole lot of parties. Freedom Daily reported about a speaking engagement that Michelle Obama did just a few months ago where she revealed that she considers herself to be a sex symbol and how much it has put burdened her day-to-day -day life. In a recent interview, while bragging about her accomplishments as First Lady, Michelle touted herself as America's sex symbol, claiming that she has issues simply walking down the street because men barely can barely contain their lust at the mere sight of her. As I got older, I found that men would whistle at me or make comments about how I looked as I walked down the street, saying that men would routinely catcall as she walked by. As if my body were their property. As if I were an object to be commented on instead of a full human being with thoughts and feelings of my own. It's truly startling how huge Michelle Obama's ego is, which apparently has grown exponentially since she left the White House. Sorry, Michelle. There's lots of things you can claim about yourself, but sex symbol is not one of them. As odd as those sentiments might seem to you, her change in the story might seem even more so. It seems that Michelle Obama can decide what she feels about the opposite gender because in one breath she says that men don't think she has her own thoughts and feelings, and in another, she claims that men depend on their women far too much. According to Daily Mail, that last was the message that she is sending out to those in attendance at the Obama Foundation event held in Chicago. Former First Lady Michelle Obama said men feel they are entitled and women protect them too much. She told the first Obama Foundation International Summit men are raised to be babies while women are brought up to be strong. It's like the problem in the world today is we love our boys, and we raise our girls, Obama said. We raise them to be strong and sometimes we take care not to hurt men, and I think we pay for that a little bit. Are we protecting our men too much so they feel a little entitled and self-righteous sometimes? But, that's kind of on us too as women and mothers, as we nurture men and push girls to be perfect. For someone representing a group that claims to promote equality, she sure is being unfair, and probably to both sides. Generalizations like these are rarely productive considering that they're not very accurate. No doubt each of us knows both strong men and women and weak ones. It's part nurture and part nature, no matter how they're nurtured. No doubt Obama was attempting to drop some knowledge on those who came to hear from the wife of the former president, but it's hard to give something that you don't have, and as we know, Obama only has girls. It seems to make her a little less qualified to answer questions about men though it doesn't seem to have slowed her down. The former first lady told men y'all should get you some friends to develop a support network in the same way women do. Talk to each other, because that's the other thing, women, do, we straighten each other out on some things, our girlfriends, she said. It's powerful to have strong men, but what does that strength mean? You know, does it mean respect? Does it mean responsibility? Does it mean compassion? Barack Obama kicked off the first ever Obama Foundation Summit in Chicago, a two-day event that aims to inspire a new generation of leaders on Tuesday. About 500 civic leaders from Chicago and around the world took part in the summit. If there's one thing that eight years of an Obama White House taught us, it's that while they talk a good game, they don't always have the experience to back it up. Both Mary and Michelle Obama claim to want what's best for America, but listening to them gives the impression that they don't know our America. Maybe they understand what it's like to live in the upper crust areas of Chicago or one of the other big cities, but they don't understand the struggles of most Americans. Thankfully we don't have to live in a world ruled by their frustratingly uninformed understanding of what it's like to live in the real world and the real America, America.